Hello everyone, how's it going? Mm. Water does a body good. Anyways, it's July 6th and I hope you guys have had a safe and fun and sane uh, 4th of July. Um, I know it's a little crazy out there from what I heard. I, on the other hand, decided to um, escape to the mountains to the cabin and did my own little social distancing from the world. It was very peaceful. I don't think I heard one firecracker go off, so it was, it was actually very, very nice. So anyways, it's 12.30 and you and I have an appointment. That means you, Damien. How are you? And um, yeah, so we're live here with Discuss It With Drake. And remember, if you do miss a live broadcast, hi, Michelle, I just came down from the mountain and all this digressing that I do, that's the reason why I can't keep these videos short. Anyways, if you do miss um, a broadcast, a live broadcast, please, please, please head on over to YouTube and do a little click search for Drake's Real Estate TV and hit subscribe. I'm actually gonna be having a contest and the only way to win is if you are a subscriber. So I suggest that you get that done. Okay, so uh, welcome to episode 16. Uh, today's, um, today's topic, the dreaded storage unit. So you think storage units, not really real estate, but you know what? It's, it's a subject that a lot of us get caught up in. And when you are buying or selling with me, a lot of people use them to, to store stuff. So we're going to talk about the dreaded storage unit. Is it a godsend or is it a black hole? Well, let me tell you, if I could buy a business, I would buy a storage facility. Absolutely. Have to admit, most of us have too much shit, right? So let's chat about it. So the self-storage industry is actually a $39 billion industry with a positive forecast growth for at least five years. That's crazy, right? So some fun facts. Hi, Aaron. How are you? Um, some fun facts. Um, 40 million people move every year. All right. Um, Americans move on an average 11 times, well, actually it's 11.7 times in their lifetime. And the average household has <clears throat> how many items? 300,000. Okay. So, uh, that is just an absolute recipe to spend money on a storage unit. So, um, right now, currently approximately 10% <clears throat> of all households have a storage unit. So that's crazy. So we've all done it. Um, we're moving again. We carefully pack the heirlooms that we absolutely never use or display, but can't bear to get rid of, right? Or the pricey furniture mistakes that we've made, um, or the items that we save because you never know, the kids might want them. Well, trust me, the kids don't want them, okay? If they do, it, it, it's an anomaly. Hi, David. How are you? Anyways. So I digress. Yes, we store them. We're using self-storage as a way to defer making some difficult emotional decisions. And it's costing some of us dearly, monthly, month after month, year after year, okay? And it, it adds up. So our, basically in a nutshell, our emotional indecision. Yep, our inability to let go of our crap. It's that simple. Uh, we have a knee-jerk reaction to getting rid of anything um, we're emotionally attached to it. So what do we do? We don't get rid of it. We store it. You know how much money we've wasted on storage? It's, it's really crazy. So here's a book scenario. So we're moving. We're upsizing, downsizing, right sizing, and need to make some quick decisions. Well, many decisions should be easy to make and will fall into one of three categories. Pack to move. Hi, Lori. So we're going to pack to move. We're going to donate it or we're gonna dump it, all right? Ricky Reeling, what is wrong with my shirt? You like my shirt? It's got my Homester Heroes embroidery on it. That's right, for you guys that are heroes, I can save you a lot of money, we should have that conversation. I should do one, an episode just on Homester Heroes. So anyways, the closer we get to the move date, the more stressed out, anxious, and emotionally exhausted we become. So our ability to think clearly and make good quality decisions degrades over time. It's just the truth. So what do we do when we run out of energy time and we can no longer make those decisions? We put it in storage. Godsend, right? Well, that's not how I look at it. So 
you look around for the best deal, one month free, two months free, one dollar for the first month, all that good stuff. And then we happily choose to hand over our credit card for easily monthly payments and walk away knowing that our treasures, crap, are safe and secure and we can breathe a sigh of relief and check moving all the stuff is now off of our list, okay? We eventually move on. What we do not realize is that when we are renting, our st renting that storage space, uh, at the end of that multiple, multiple, multiple page contract, we've agreed for a timely rental use cost increase. And this always happens. And I know this from personal experience. All right, so um, it, it's, it's in the contract. The built-in increase has already begun and has been agreed to by you. All right, so why we may see them at the end of voices and we, and we always think in the back of our minds, oh man, we've got to get rid of that storage unit, right? Well, the weeks become months, then the months become years. Before you know it, um, you have paid so much money um, all because you are deferring these emotional uh, decisions. So once and for all, get rid of it, okay? Um, you may look back years from now and think, what am I even storing? Okay, it's, it's crazy. That's called the black hole. So, anyways. So how do you avoid being a casualty of self-storage industry? Well, take the time to truly think of the cost of storing each unit over time. Okay, set a time frame in which you agree to rent the space. I'm going to be out of here in six months. I'm going to be out of here in a year and stick to it. Okay, um, might be a good idea to ask uh, to read that fine print uh, to talk about those automatic monthly increases because they will get you after a while. Um, and then also just ask, well, how frequently does it happen? I know some places where it seemed like every two or three months the price was going up. It's crazy. <laughs> um, create a visual or physical inventory of these stored items, including measurements. It's, it's probably a good deal, right? So short-term storage is actually a godsend for many of us that need to utilize this readily available local option and who have a firm grip on exactly what is being stored and why it's being stored and for how long. Remember, shorter is better. Okay, it's a black hole when storage is used for a way of delaying those difficult decisions, all right? Um, you know what, if you, if you haven't used it in, in a year, get rid of it, donate it. Remember, pack it to move, donate it, or dump it, okay? Stop wasting money. Okay, so I'm gonna share some personal information that after four years of renting a storage unit, I'm free, I'm free at last, it's gone, done. That's right, I am out of there. Ah, did, I utilize, did, did I get everything actually into those three paws successfully? No, are you kidding me? Uh, unfortunately, um, I still have a lot of stuff, but now at least it's in the garage right now. And I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it one holiday at a time. That's right, so most of my stuff, unfortunately, or fortunately, is holiday stuff. And I've got an unbelievable amount of Christmas stuff. So, um, yeah, so once the holidays come, whatever I use, I'm going to keep. Whatever I don't use is getting donated, all right? So, yeah, so uh, there you go. So if you're one of the families using a short-term unit, ask yourself, are you really to make those decisions to dispose of those treasures you have stored? Uselessly wasting money on it, or you could take that money and go on a family trip. That's what I would do. Heck yeah. So anyways, simple for today. That's all I have. I hope you found this information helpful. Please feel free to share it. And as always, if you like a copy of today's information, you can just let me know and I'll look at a copy in your email or drop one off in snail mail if you'd like to have that paper um, in your hand. Again, if there's a, um, a conversation that you would like to have or have me go over um, a topic, please let me know. I will get that on the calendar as quickly as possible. Um, thank you so very much as always for your interest and your support and please don't keep me a secret. Please don't forget to sign up, subscribe on YouTube, Drake's Real Estate TV, because giving away some good stuff coming up. All right, so as always, where I always try to come from contribution. Uh, thanks for watching. Please be kind, okay? Don't forget to live, laugh, and love. And until next week, when the next move matters, contact Drake for Homes, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.